Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters Snake VR, Luis Alvarez, Max Ratliff, Landon Ledeau, Michael Abeta, and Goyulas200. Thank you so much for your support. And if you want to support us on Patreon, feel free to click the link down below in the description to find out more. Thanks again. Oh boy. Woo. What an episode that we had last time. Um, uh, yeah, Emir is a Titan. We knew that for the episode before last episode, but it seems that there's a lot more complications arising because, uh, Krista is actually Historia, and Krista is actually... Apparently a uh, illegitimate child of royalty or some shit. Which is... Which, or nobility. Which, okay, I'm gonna be honest, that never, that, nothing bad ever happens to illegitimate children. Uh, I'm just joking, most of them actually. We've all seen Game of Thrones. <laughs> Not only Game of no, dude, history. No, you want to talk yeah, about... history in general. Dude, history in general, the, the British royal family, the amount of illegitimate children who were done away with just in the, in the British royal family... Mm. Oh my god. Even outside the royal family, just illegitimate children in general have never Well bastards. Yeah. Well bastard children had like, good times until like recently whenever like people kinda just leave them alone, you know. Yeah, like, people nowadays don't care as much, even though I know there's some people out there who are a little bit still a little bit like like, oh you can't trust a bastard. A bastard a bastard is born of a unholy union, blah blah blah, such and such. Oh, yeah. To that I to that I say, Oh yeah? Everybody's we're, their own person. It doesn't matter how yeah. they got here. Yeah, we're all children of God. Who cares? It's like the only per- people that have any right to be mad over somebody like that is they have a right to be mad at the person that cheated on them. But not only that, but if the the child is abandoned by the parent who is you know who is in the wrong like say a fa- say a married man has an affair with a with a with a woman and gets her pregnant and ha- and that woman has that child and the father wants nothing to do with it and pretty much uh decrees it dead pretty much like to him it is dead to to that i hope the father never finds happiness I hope he gets his penis chopped off and he uh, never finds happiness. Kind of makes me think of spoiler for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure season four, but uh, of uh, Joseph and uh, Josuke. Oh, <laughs> like how Josuke is kind of like you're a dick for not really ever coming back or anything, you know, and not being in my life this whole time. Yeah. Well, it. He's a dick for cheating on Susie Q to start with. She was a lovely lady. <laughs> well. You know, I, like, I like Joseph up to that point. I was like, "Oh, what the fuck, man!" Well, not, every character has its has their flaws. Yeah, Aaron, despite being or in spite of being the most like one of the most powerful characters in this because of his Titan form, he's the trump card, literally. Well, yeah, he's inept when it comes to killing titans the legit or like the og way with mm-hmm. the with the movement because i didn't actually think about it like until just that past episode when he's like my first kill like i was like wait he really hasn't killed any with his maneuver gear before now nope shit never not once didn't notice that yeah and then of course there's mikasa who okay i will be honest mikasa is a little bit of a mary sue but you know what her achilles heel is aaron yeah she will literally risk life and limb in spite of everything. It doesn't matter if the odds are zero. She will always take a risk for Aaron. I don't think she's necessarily a Mary Sue. I just think that she well, she's, picked up on things faster than everybody else. She's, well, she's just highly prodigious. intelligent. She's a prodigy. Yeah. Well, I, I'm not saying she is a Mary Sue. I'd say she's the most Mary Sue out of all the characters in the show. Yeah. Whereas Levi, Levi's just got bad ankles. I mean, I think... <laughs> yeah. That I think that's his... His biggest problem is that uh, whenever something doesn't go 100% to plan, uh, because of how long he's been doing this, his ankles just give out on him every now and again. Apparently. Which, honestly, he needs to get like a brace or something for that, because you need your ankles with, with that kind of stuff. I'm really not sure it even was that, like, that he has bad ankles. It was just kind of, he landed fucker, like fucky, you know, anybody can sprain their ankle. And it's just like he didn't intend on having to land that way, so, you know, he had to do what he had to do, and he ended up bending it to the wrong way, pretty much. Yeah. Which, yeah. It, 
that scared the shit out of me when it happened. Too. Oh, of course it did. Because like I fucking love uh, Levi, and like, yeah, he's like when he landed character. like that, I was like, oh no! Like, I was like, please don't no. let him die right here from that. And he did. So yeah, luckily he did. Hallelujah! So, thank God. <laughs> and then of course there's Aryan Coconut. Oh, I'm sorry, Armin, uh, <laughs> who honestly is one of the most intelligent characters in this, but he often talks himself into a corner, and he often well. He used to. He's gotten a lot better at communicating now as he's gotten older. Mm. But he still has moments where he's just... Like, his brain goes a little bit too fast for everyone else to keep up with. Even Mikasa, who is, like I said, a prodigy. But anyway, uh, we have the episode queued up here. This is episode 6 of season 2, Warrior. So, let's see what happens. Uh... I wonder. I wonder if Emir's gonna live. That's the one thing I'm wor- I'm really concerned about in this. Episode. I hope so, because it would be kind of sucky for her to be revealed to be a good Titan and then immediately get taken back out of the equation. There you go. But let's see. Ah, the wall. For some reason, I like when it rains in anime. You know, probably to me, one of my favorite rain scenes ever in a in an anime is. What's that? Cowboy Bebop. Yeah. I don't know why. Just rain in anime is a very calming aesthetic to me. It is. Well, it's like most rainstorms. I sleep like a baby during a rainstorm. <laughs> Ah. Huh. Wow. She's, she's accepting of it. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. You mean what all? Yeah, Hanji's always been a pretty good person. Yeah. Seal that wall. Seal that wall. Oh. Yeah, that one's not broken, I don't think. Yeah, that's the thing they've not gotten back to yet. At some point, somebody's going to have to put two and two together. What? So at some point, somebody's going to have to put two and two together and be like, yeah, the wall wasn't broken. Oh, hey, Hans. There is no hole. What? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh my fucking That's how they reveal that? It just literally just like, yeah, it's us. Holy shit! I hope somebody gets that phone because I called it, bitch! <laughs> oh! That's what I've known this whole time that I've been trying not to let on. Oh! Episode. Holy shit! Yeah, Reiner's the armored and Vert Holt's the colossal. And they literally just told him for some fucking reason. They just told, like, blankly right there? What? No. Oh. Oh boy. They're right on top of the wall. I can only imagine just what the heck? I think Mikasa heard. <笑><笑><笑> Lina Brown to Bertolto Fuba. I am at the Saxon Kikakshani of the Erenga Uyokugani to Shirasarate, a group in Shozoki State. 
So they deliberately gave out false information? <laughs> you say that. Yep. He must have cut the desk where de air was into his hand. Into her hand. That. Oof. Holy shit. Mikasa don't play around, man. Us. By the way, I'm the Armor Titan. This is the uh, Colossal Titan. Uh, uh, but you know us as uh, Reiner and Bertolt. Uh, so yeah, we're here to destroy humanity. And uh, yeah, just come with us if you want to live. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So nonchalant, but at the same time, fucking tense as hell. That yeah. entire ordeal. Like... He's like, I, I had a fucking weird feeling when he walked up to him and he's like, I need to talk to you for a second. Every time they, like, you know, since we started this season and I told you I know who it was. Yeah. And, like, I've had to, like, act like, you know, I don't know anything to keep from spoiling it for you. Yeah. And, it's like, so every time either of them is on screen, I'm just like, goddamn bastards, without having to say anything or react and everything. But I always get a fucking bad feeling every time anything's happening with them because I'm like, is this it? Is this it? And when he told him, like, he's like, I need to talk to you for a second. I was like, what's about to happen? Yeah. Uh, and I was like, that, what? He really just fucking said that. I was like, that's okay. That's what I said, too. Well, I'm like, really? Really? You're going to fucking say that here and now? Good yeah. God. Well, at least now we're to the point where we both know all the same things. Okay, yeah. Uh, really, the only other thing I've had spoiled is, like, a specific uh, technique that they try against Titans at some point that I saw a page of in the manga, but... Okay. Uh, other than that, it's an, that's not a huge spoiler, you know? It's just a thing. That's an action scene at some point that I know about, but it's yeah. not that big of a story thing at all. Um, but, yeah. Now we're both caught up and we both know what's going on together. <laughs> <laughs> Or we both equally don't know what's going on together. True. Put that's, it that way. Yeah, that's the more accurate, <laughs> yeah. accurate thing to say there. Because, holy, holy shit, dude. Fucking. Uh, uh, he, yelled, figured, he yelled you damn traitors, but I was hoping he would just be like, you goddamn bastards. <laughs> like, pretty much. It's like, uh, fuck you both. <laughs> like, he, like. Betrayal, man. I have like, no idea what the fuck is going on, though, because it's like they've come from this town that apparently Annie came from, too. Possibly Amir as well. I think it has something to do with that language. And they want to destroy all of humanity. And it's like, is there some other civilization that's just titans? And and he's like surrounded by all these idiots and was like really like you really see like these regular people as like stupid and shit and like you're that much better than well, them well it's it's an air of clout he has this air of clout about him where he feels like he is superior like okay it's basically there's, like it seems like the, the titans are just predator. racists <laughs> well there's the ape there is the apex predator 
uh, mentality, which, uh, okay, it, uh, one big comparison I can think of is when Loki said to Nick Fury in Avengers, an ant has no quarrel with a boot, but the boot does what it wants, but the boot will do as it pleases. Same thing with the lion and the gazelle. The lion has no real quarrel with the gazelle. It does what it does because nature demands it. Mm. And how nature progr- how nature is shown to be in this show is that we will always be confrontational against what we do not understand. All, well, that's how it's been throughout history. And here, the biggest thing that we have is that we have these colossal beings that are hell-bent on not only not only uh, taking over the... Well, not taking over the world, but they're hell-bent on devouring all of humanity. They're hell-bent on eliminating us. It's a lot like... Uh, okay, the the showdown between... But then the, there's apparently also some that are not, possibly? Well, that's, that's the other thing, too. You see, uh, we don't know. We don't know what the extent of the Titans is. Uh, like... Uh, of an entire different civilization of titans is there an entire different civilization of titans that's actually friendly and wanting to coexist with humanity or are they for the most part the majority of them uh wanting to eliminate humanity and have the uh have the the earth pretty much dominated by titans okay i don't know uh when we go back and we take in a new context Amir talking about um, we come from similar backgrounds and I'm just living for myself and she obviously took a liking to Krista I think maybe she was supposed to be helping them as well possibly and she um, wants her revenge now for something that pissed her off possibly on them and probably. also she definitely likes Krista possibly in a more than a friend way Probably, like, uh, and I, mean, I wouldn't. I it wouldn't surprise me. So I think she's realized that you know these people aren't bad, and there's no reason that they need to be killing all of them and stuff, and that's why she decided to help. Yeah. Uh, well, whereas like Reiner and Berthold apparently have just been in disguise this whole time and have just been assholes the whole time. So, honestly, I when I said the first episode, I believe I think it might be Reiner. Because of because of his uh, because of his sort of uh, just because of it was when we were having the hair color and uh, eye color discussion, and I remember that the uh, armor titan uh, had blonde hair, mm-hmm. and I thought to myself, who else has blonde hair that we know uh, we know was not uh, we know we know now that was not. Uh, prevalent in the story back then, and I thought. And you to also myself, have to say, like, um, you know, you definitely see that female titans are distinguishable to an extent from male titans. Well, seems. yeah, they're so the, you know it's not a girl a character bit, probably because well, that's a very course. masculine looking titan. Well, not only that, but okay, I saw the blonde hair, and I thought to myself, okay, it it's Annie has blonde had blonde hair. And Reiner has blonde hair. Hmm. Now, my theory may completely have gotten blown out the water, and then all of a sudden we find out it's Connie. Yeah. And I'm just like... Some kind of crazy twist and it's Armin or something. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, that couldn't have been it because uh, Armin was actually on the uh Yeah, he was there whenever Aaron he was attacking. When the, when the yeah. Armin Titan burst through, uh, burst through the second level of the wall. Yeah. So... God, dude. There's just... So it also makes me ask the question because I haven't had any more of them spoiled for me. Are there others um, who are also hiding it? And Maybe. So far, I'm gonna say I don't think so. From everything out of I'm the cast that we have so, so far, but there may be others that end up unlocking the ability to become Titans later. I hope that the uh, I, I think it would be badass as hell if like Hanji got to. That's what I'm thinking. If Hanji got, she would be ability, so stoked about she'd, that. She'd just be like, oh, "This is amazing!" Yeah. <laughs> Except in her Titan form, it'd just be her going. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, this is amazing! I could talk. <laughs> Holy crap! I could talk as a Titan. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, God, dude, this is an awesome episode. I can't wait to the next one because Titan Fight! Mm. We're getting a big ass Titan Fight. Aaron versus uh, or Ryder something, and either that or something's about to go real fucking south real fast. Oh, uh, don't don't say that. Because this show is kind of known for shit going real south real fast. Well, so. okay, you think about the first fight Aaron had against Annie. Mm. He was caught off guard by the fact that he was he was shocked by the fact that he knew the fighting style, and thus he 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 was distracted by that and let his guard down, and she beat him the first time. And then the second time, Aaron didn't F around, and he actually... And then with, of course, hell of an assist from Mikasa, you know, slicing her fingers. Yeah, and then... And then... Levi after that. Oh, then Levi as well, yeah. Um, so that's when Levi did his fucking spinning top, turned his blade backwards move, and I was just like, oh! <laughs> 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 cook ass! Yeah. But, honestly, I see that. I, I see... What we had with Annie and what we have here. This is the armored Titan. Mm. This is quite possibly one of is going to be Aaron's toughest challenge because the armored Titan is just it's an armored Titan. Yeah, that's the problem is he has armor. <laughs> and then there's the Colossal Titan, which is just massive. Yeah. It's like what do you do against that? I mean, the only thing I can really it's think like, of... I don't think Aaron's Titan can really do much of anything against the Colossal Titan. Uh, I, I He think, would have to be on the wall and jump on his back, basically. That's pretty much it. Knock his balance off, get him on the ground, and maybe keep him from turning his head so that they could cut cut the nape of his neck. Imagine if this know. entire time they could have figured out a way to like have Aaron turn into a Titan and have built him a Colossal set of maneuver gear <laughs> with oh, Colossal that swords. Would be epic. <laughs> Can it's like, imagine? we win. Whoa. <laughs> Just go flying through the air. Yeah. Instead of attaching to trees or building sides or, or, or the wall, instead he's actually like attaching to mountains. That like would be crazy if that's valleys. like their final plan for actually killing the Colossal Titan is like, we have to get Aaron maneuver gear while he's in Titan form. That'd that be ridiculous. That'd be so ridiculous. They'd have to have such a I'm huge in. tank of gas. Like, they'd have to like... Donate like all of the gas available among all of their gears to fuel up his gas tanks. Yeah, yeah, you have to be proportionate. <laughs> Jesus. So that was an awesome episode of Attack on Titan. This has been an awesome season. Oh, so, so far, far it's been I a really good. Season. Do not see the complaints that anybody else has well, said they had. I can see why they said why I heard certain people say there was a lack of focus because there's not as much focus on the main characters. But like I said. If the side characters are interesting, it was I don't focused mind. on the main characters for the entire first season, pretty much. Well, yeah, because like, you had with to do all the these side story. characters that were, were like, you know, we kind of care about them, but not as much. And now it's kind of like we have gotten to the point where we're starting to care about pretty much everybody that's left. And it's going to be devastating whenever somebody dies now. Oh, it's already kind of devastating that Bert Holt and Reiner have to be Titans, but I was already yeah. kind of ready for that. I, I. Okay, I expected something bad to happen. Yeah. Especially because it's halfway through the season. This is episode six. But them doing the build-up with uh, Amir and Krista and stuff ahead of time, like, was definitely, in my opinion, good writing in terms of, like, making us care more about them than we did before they start doing this major stuff with both of their characters. Yeah. Otherwise, we'd just kind of be like, oh, really? Okay. Yeah, it's like, it's like, well, who is this bitch and why should I care? Yeah. Instead, it's like, oh, Dan and here. It's like, I've kind of liked all the characters up to this point, but it's definitely, you know, it's doing a good job of getting more established reasons to care about them in the season. yeah. I agree so with I that. So I don't 100%. mind at all that it's not stayed focused on just the main plot and main characters the whole time. I, I'm in the same boat with you there, man. And there's so many things it's throwing at us, like so many new questions and stuff. And Well, and that's what you need to do. Yeah. If you keep pondering the same questions or you keep running into the same ones you had just in a different situation with a different character... You start to not care as much. Yeah, anymore. and it's like instead, if, I, if we had to wait like the entire, like however many seasons this is going to run, always our only question being, what's in the goddamn basement... Eventually, we wouldn't care anymore <laughs> no, before it got to that point. there's new stuff coming along. Like, yeah. for instance, who the hell is the Beast Titan? Yeah. Like, uh, how the hell are they going to beat the Colossal Titan? How the hell are they going to beat the Armored Titan? 
What like, is this how hinted the hell is at? Would have fit into this? What is this hinted at civilization of Titans possibly, or people yeah. who can become Titans? Yeah, this former town that and it's uh, still. What are they exactly, the and how do they work, and all the science behind it, and it's, it's why I love this anime. Is this anime probably gives you more questions and mysteries to think about than any other one I've seen? Yeah, I mean it's it's insane to think about how much variation there is with this anime alone. I mean, just the plot line, just the plot line with Emir and uh, and uh, Krista and starting or from, Historia, and starting from a re- relatively simple sounding concept. Yes, because it's just like there are big things and they eat people, and people have to fight them with this three D maneuver gear. Yes, it's like cool. That sounds kind of neat, and then it's like, but it's a lot more than that too. Oh yeah, there's so a lot crazy. more to dig into here. That's what you need. That's what you need to keep people interested. Mm. All right. Well, that's gonna do it, ladies and gentlemen. This was Attack on Titan, season two, episode six. Warrior. Ah, next episode, I can't wait. We're going to get a big Titan fight. I just wonder how the hell Aaron's going to get himself out of this one. All right, well, that's going to do it. I'm Nate. I'm Nate. And if you want to see the full version of this, if you're watching this on YouTube, link in the description down below will take you to our Patreon where you can watch this completely unedited. So, until then, we'll see you then. Peace out.